be really critical. Okay. Like, let us know the real. Like, I, I've <laughs> seen the work you guys do. I might have do. to shoot you after I tell you this. I know, right? <laughs> if you were, what is the biggest threat? And if you got to think about this, this is fine. What do you feel like is the biggest threat to your business right now? Like, what could come along and just cause havoc in your business? I honestly feel like the biggest threat I have, and, and it might go along with with my the what I believe and how I how I live my life. I'm afraid to lose sight of the vision and why my girls was created. And once we lose sight, I feel like the few times I've seen us get complacent or lose sight, everything just goes to hell. Mm -hmm. What are the first places that start to fall apart when you lose sight of that? Is it uh, a, first fall apart is the, the front office that runs my. Mm -hmm. They're they're no longer connected. They're no longer relative to what's going on. They can't mm -hmm. relate. They've lost sight of what we do anymore. It's become a mundane thing. I just do my work and I go home. The passion's the gone. The grind. Pull, there's a gravity to the grind. Yeah, that yeah and I've seen it happen, and, and and it's truly a fear because I believe that. We're, we're all creating constantly. I, you're mm -hmm. sitting in this building because someone had this idea and this dream that it would look this way and we'd be the, you know what I mean? It didn't mm -hmm. just fall out of the sky. Yeah. So when you get complacent and you get caught up in, in your life outside of my girl's house cleaning for us, we forget, we forget. And then we walk up to those doors and there's a drudgery that comes with us yep. and it goes right out there. And I'm not kidding, it almost happens instantaneously. We'll get 10 cancellations mm -hmm. and I can feel it's coming. And right, a, right away, we get our team together and we nip it in the butt. We start here with myself and my front office team. What is going on? So and staying they, engaged with your people. Right. Making sure that you, you're showing the appreciation to them. Making sure that like your, your team, your leaders, and you have some really cool leaders here. That So you know that the threat is, is if you guys drop the ball on that, that just tumbles down quickly. And I don't mean just saying. dropping the ball by saying not answering the phone. I mean that you lose the vision. Yeah. There, it has to have a purpose and a vision. Vision Everything, is huge. If you're, if you're making bread because you want to feed the world and you forget that it's something that's edible and you keep making this bread but it's not edible and it, the loaf falls on the floor and we pick it up and we shove it in the bag and we forgot. Pretty soon you're producing a terrible product because you mm -hmm. forgot what you started to do. We want, I could have done other things, not, not a whole lot of other things that I didn't mm -hmm. have the education but it, I could stop doing this and do something else now. Yeah. But I love the feeling of giving my clients a clean home. I mean, how much money, especially now, is spent on a home? Half a million dollars? Yeah. I don't know. Easy. A lot of money. And you're being taxed out the wazoo for what, you know whatever that all is. And you're, you're, you're driving this terrible traffic and you're finally getting home and the dog and the cat and the kids. Mm -hmm. and you walk through that door. All your money, most all your money is in that mm -hmm. home. It's in those children husband and wife, pets, recreation, vacation, uh -huh. and, and we get to go there and clean it for you. Mm -hmm. I one time had a client, or a, it wasn't a client, but wannabe client, and they called me clear across the country, whatever, I went over there, I gave her an estimate, and the first thing out of her mouth after I finished was, oh, you're too expensive, and you know, and it was $20 too much, and whatever she said, mm -hmm. $20 is nice and all. Yeah. And I was so proud of myself, and I feel vulnerable to say this, but I was so proud of myself because I knew who we were. And I wrote back yep. to her and I said, I did not know you were looking for the cheapest cleaning service you could find. Mm -hmm. If you would have told me that, I wouldn't have wasted your time or mine mm -hmm. because I'm not the right fit. If you're looking for someone that will take care of your hard-earned investment in your home, mm -hmm. who will not bang the heck out of your walls, who will be kind to your children, your pets, who will come in smoke-free, drug-free, you name it, and take care of your home. And when you come home consistently, and when you come home, the products are safe, and the cleaning is exquisite, and you feel that quality, if that's what you're looking for, we're a good fit. But if you're mm -hmm. looking for cheap, I wish I would have known that.